Hmm. Okay, so this is interesting, because I feel like in order to talk about Long Legs, a movie that is allegedly, quote, one of the scariest, if not the scariest movie that you've ever seen, a movie that will keep you up at night, checking all of the dark corners of the room, and running up your stairs faster than when you were an actual chicken in your parents' basement. And while that's some high cheese and praise surrounding a movie that now has to live up to the hype of horror hits, and some that even audiences would revere as staples or classics in the horror genre now, such as Get Out, Don't Breathe, The Witch, It Follows, The Babadook, A Cabin in the Woods, the fan favorite Hereditary, The First Conjuring, When Evil Lurks, which is new and I'm pretty sure just came out this year, so go check that out, and the first couple Paranormal Activity movies. Dude, I'm standing on business with that and you can fuck off if you are too young to remember the golden years of the first couple movies of the Paranormal Activity hype. It's an oversaturated subgenre of the genre now, but man, for the generation that does know, God, those were some good-ass weekends. And those are just movies that have come out in, say, the last decade and a half, so that obviously does not include some of the real horror icons and legends that started the game and kicked off the many subgenres of a genre that we are so used to today as an audience. The point in all of that is what I just hinted at in my last sentence, and I didn't really think about it too much, or honestly, I didn't really think about it at all, seeing how most horror movies have been hard shit on a screen recently with some mild exceptions like evil dead rise or or actually i don't know megan i guess but what is horror unlike fantasy or action or romance or even hollywood's favorite the superhero genre it's not very subjective sure you can have many different ideas many different visions and different structures on how you want to tell your story but the foundation itself, and from the POV of the audience, it's relatively the same, and you know more than likely what you're going to get with whatever piece of entertainment that you're consuming. But much like with comedy, horror is completely subjective, and while I'm not going to turn into a yapper and lecture you for too long as if a bloke like myself knows the nuances, history, or the complexities of the horror genre, it's just simply a fact if you pay attention, or if you have people that you yourself go see horror movies with, that every audience member receives the horror genre differently. A movie or a TV show that might make you restless every night for a week, the next person can use it as background sound for their Saturday afternoon midday nap. And with subgenres like the slasher films, possession stories, alien movies, torture corn, suspenseful thrillers, and the anxiety inducing, just to name a few off the top of my head. Oh wait, let me not forget about the straight up shit on a screen. There is a genre for that, believe it or not. Showing my age again, they used to be called sci-fi classics. Man, again the glory days. I don't know what those buttes are called now, and honestly, they just might be an extinct species. Rip. But in order to wrap all of that up in just one well-concise point, what makes horror so fun and unique to consume is that there is truly a movie or TV show that is out there for you. Unless you're genuinely scared about everything, which I guess is a thing. So when I tell you about the excitement that I was feeling, and in a way, anxiety I felt, and I feel like many of the people who are watching this video had, was no joke. With a budget that was only $10 million and a marketing campaign that more than likely matches that number, Long Legs was a movie that truly had everything going for it in a way that I haven't really seen for a long time. Especially when it comes to an original horror movie that doesn't have the A24 logo just slapped onto it just to have that added built-in audience. It had a scary, interesting, and thought-provoking trailer to get the main horror fans, a well-known and at this point, legendary name in the game of acting, but more importantly in this instance, a well-known and legendary name in the game when it comes to unhinged acting. And my god, did this have an insane social media presence to rake in the casuals and put their name on the map. A strategy that is slowly but surely becoming a mainstay marketing strat when it comes to some of our lower budgeted pieces of entertainment. And one that seems to be working. But at the end of the day, this is my channel and not Rotten Tomatoes. So what did I think of Long Legs? Did I think the movie was good? Yes. Did I think the movie was scary? No. Do I think a lot of people will and that I'm more than likely just desensitized to this genre in general? More than likely. For all of the anxiety inducing hype, I think that I had more anxiety before the movie in anticipation than any time during the actual film. 
And because I'm not going to put that on the marketing, because this wasn't a mismarketed movie, it was honestly a perfectly marketed movie that I think will genuinely deliver to most of the audience on what was advertised. So that is not the case. So again, it could just be my own personal problem. Were there times for me where long legs was as anxiety inducing as the marketing advertised? For sure. And when it came to that last act, without getting into spoilers, because I'm honestly not and haven't been getting into them this whole video, that's kind of why I decided not to include a plot synopsis in this video, because if you've already seen the movie, or if you're still planning to go watch, you should go into it as blind as everyone else. But while Act 3 might have seemed a little on the nose from an expository point of view compared to the rest of the movie, it was definitely a 30 to 35 minutes to experience. For me, it just goes back to the question of what is horror, and how fantastic it is that we have a genre that has become so subjective, therefore making it for everyone. Because while Long Legs was a movie that you as an audience member would expect to have the feeling of a slow burn, only to be surprised by how precise the pacing actually is, a movie that harbors some of the most complex characters I've seen in the genre recently, performances that are truly unhinged and gripping in the highest praise of the words, an intelligent and easy to follow narrative, unsettling and dark themes that anchor you down, and cinematography that does legitimately lock you in and gives you the feeling as if you're constantly missing something, even when you're not. By all means, Long Legs was a great movie, and a movie that I'm sure I will actually end up in the future watching again at 2 in the morning at some point. But unfortunately, with my desensitized bloke of a brain, Long Legs was not a scary movie, and I wouldn't even say a movie that is in the top five of the genre in the past decade and a half. And while that might be a hot take, it's an honest take. So in a ranking tier list that is still a name in progress, I think I had this problem last week with The Bear Season 3 being one of the hardest pieces of entertainment to bless and rank in the nameless tier list this year. I truly did rack my brain with that one and it's kind of no different here but for the sake of craft and integrity long legs is easily an actual movie and while i'm sure that the many many video essays that we are going to see pop up on this platform over the next month or so will claim that long legs is cinema i can't argue it but for me long legs ain't sniffing this top row of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'll leave a link to my Twitter and letterbox in the description, just in case you guys want to go check that out. Again, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Again, if you did enjoy, why not click on more while you're at it? Otherwise, that is all the words I got for you today. Bye.